Okay, hi there students. Here we have um, an essay for IELTS. This is the first part of the academic where you've got to write about data. Um, normally you get a chart of some sort or different types of data and you've got to uh, write about that data. The table below shows CO2 emissions for different forms of transport in the European Union. The pie chart, this one, shows the percentage of European Union funds being spent on different forms of transport. Write a report for a university lecturer describing the information shown below. And the um, pie chart, this circle, is CO2 emissions uh, per passenger per kilometer and this is the EU funds for that between 2007 and 2013 so we've got airports 1% ports 2% inland waterways intermodal public transport railways and roads and the other one which is more difficult to see let me see if I can make it a, whoops make it a bit bigger that's better um, this is grams of CO2 per passenger uh, kilometer for passenger cars for buses and for coaches okay so it's the amount of CO2 emitted by uh, various method means of transport so here we go the aim of this report is to outline the current conditions of the means of transport in the European Union taken into account two different factors. Well firstly this should be taking. Um, I think let's see what you're trying to do is the right thing. You're you're starting with a statement of what your report is about and that's the, that's good. The aim of this report is to um, to outline the current now condition of the means of transport in the European Union taking into account two factors I'm not very, I'm not very happy about the description so is to is is to outline the current well they're not actually current because this was uh, uh, 2007 to they're at least 10 years old so we probably ought to use the, lose the word current um, is to outline hmm okay, yeah so outline data um our data on two different factors relating to various means of transport in the union so let's make this more interesting within no not with an h i t h within the european union one two one co2 emissions for different forms of transport in the european union two the percentage of european union funds provided for different forms of transport between 2007 and 2013. Okay, that, I think that reads better. The aim of this report is to outline uh, data on two different factors relating to various means of transport, uh, relating to various means of transport within the European Union. So various means of transport within the European Union, yeah. Um, one CO2 emissions for different forms of transport in the European Union and two the percentage of European Union funds provided 
uh, for different forms of transport between these two dates. Firstly, I would like to establish the background for this report. That is the European Union has established as one of one of the major one of the priorities of its policy to reduce the emissions of CO2 due to the issues associated to it like po public health global warming and environmental damage okay f i would i would like to is firstly i would like to establish the background for this report that is yeah you could say that is try that being it just looks more impressive there's nothing wrong with that in uh that is but that bit that uh that bit for this report that being the U european union has established so it's established what has it established has established the reduction You need to put the direct object after the verb has established. What does it establish? The reduction of the of uh, I would lose this the, the of emissions of CO two. Uh, so the that being, the European Union has established the reduction of emissions of CO two. as one of as as one of its policy priorities full stop This is this is due to assist, uh, uh, issues to associated issues. Like public health, uh, global warming and environmental damage okay secondly we analyze the data of the table Woof, I don't like this all the data in the table the data from in in the table the data from the table the data in the table which shows co2 emissions for hmm Which shows C which shows CO two emissions for various means of transport in the European Union. According to according to that table, according according to the table, it is the car which which sends more grams of CO two per passenger kilometer about 125 grams whereas the bus sends approximately 60 grams per passenger kilometer and the coach is the transport that sends fewer grams and it emits about 40 grams okay let's see you've got a problem here with using comparatives where you should be using superlatives so According to the table, it's the car which sends most grams of CO2 per, per passenger kilometer. So this sends, it emits, it gives out, it gives off. It is the car which gives off 
most grams of CO2 per per passenger, passenger kilometer, about 125 grams. Where whereas the bus um, emits, gives off, sends out. Okay, so if you're going to use send, sends out approximately 60 grams per per um, passenger kilometer. I like this cleft this uh, cleft sentence. According to the table, it is the car which gives off most grams of CO2 per passenger kilometer, about 125 grams, whereas the bus sends out approximately 60 grams per passenger kilometer. The coach is the the transport, the transport, the form of transport that uh, gives that gives out that provides that um, that I'm going to go for the gives off again that gives off or gives yeah off fewest e e s t fewest you, again fewest gra uh, fewest grams and we need a the the coach is the form of transport that gives off the fewest grams as it emits as it emits as it I'm going to add an only here it just makes it as it only emits about 40 grams besides besides it comments the pie charts which shows the percentage of European Union funds being spent on different forms of transport. Wow, this this one's a bit one a bit at sea. Um, besides, it comments on the pie chart. Oof. I'm not sure if but so besides yes because in addition to in addition to this um, which shows the percentage of different forms of transport besides it comments the pie charts I'm I'm not too happy with this besides I you you you're using it correctly because because I know you're not using beside meaning next to um Um, uh, okay. I think I'm going I'm going to lose that besides. Um Additionally, or besides beside besides additionally, I'm going to go for additionally. A D D I T I O N A R Y. Additionally, there is the pie chart and it's singular there's only one of them the pie chart which shows the percentage of Un European Union funds being spent on different forms of transport fine additionally there is the pie chart furthermore there is the pie chart oddly enough the means of transport which receives and again receives more receives most receives most funds is the most polluting one that is that's good now we got that being that is roads are at the top of the listing receiving 52% Next, railways received the second highest percentage, 
which is much more that than other other more polluting transports such as public transport with 10 percent okay you've got that so next railways receive the second highest percentage which is much more than other more polluting transports such as public transport but public transport is less polluting I think you've got this the wrong way around uh, which is much more which is much higher which is much greater much greater so that is roads are at the top of the list receiving 52 percent next railways receive the second highest percentage 31 which is much greater than other less polluting transports <laughs> transport no uh, um, transports would be the buses that take people around in this case it's forms of transport or transport ships might be there, uh, a set of ships to transport an army would be the transports yeah um, forms of transport such as pu public transport with 10% finally the little rest of funds little rest no are received by um, the little rest of funds how do I say this? The little so the the funds. that remain the funds that remain the funds the finally the meager funds yes the meager funds that remain are received by ports 2% and 1% by inland waterways airports and inter intermodal apiece no, this apiece is in the wrong place. Are are received and by ports and one percent by ports are ports and one percent apiece that remain are received by ports 2% and 1% apiece by inland waterways, airports and intermodal. In conclusion, taking into account the findings above and the data collected by contrasting the table with the pie chart, the results are that the European Union supports mainly the transports, the types of transport most people use no matter how much they pollute however they penalize or fine those private means of transport with high taxes on fuels therefore it could be said that the European Union needs to check its transport funding policy okay so you fir firstly in this you need to think about the difference between comparatives um, and superlatives and you're, mi you're, mixing you're mixing in comparatives when you should be using um, superlatives so how well have you done this 
You've completed the task well, meeting all the criteria of the task, including all necessary information. Okay, you've completed the task quite well. Um, you've met the criteria um, necessary. Uh, and I think that, that, that you've, you've certainly done that. I like the way you've, do, you've done it. Um, communicative achievement. The writing is appropriate for the task. You've used the right style and register. Yeah, you've definitely used the right style and register. Um, organization. Okay, it's coherently organized. Very, very, def very definitely. Um, uh, and well, but you're always very, very good at the organizational features. It, it, it's nicely organized. Um, the language. Okay, you've got a good range of language, but there are too many mistakes. Um, particularly this, this mistake with comparatives and superlatives. And there are one or two bits where I've had problems actually working out what you're trying to say. Um, okay, so there, there, are mis there are mistakes that m could make the text difficult to read or confusing for the reader. Um, so what am I going to do? What am I going to give you? I think I'm going to give you a 6.5, 7, 7, 6.5. I think I'm going to give it a 6.75, mm, 7.5. I think I'm going to give it a 7 at, at Yelts. This is this is this is really a a C1 and I think generally you're capable of C2. Um it's not bad but I know you can do better. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. So, Yelts Academic Writing, Part 1.